I ended up watching several uh, 80s movies before we started filming, like Close Encounters of the Third Kind, A Nightmare on Elm Street. It was great to just kind of live in that world. The whole vibe of the era and the genre was amazing. Being thrown into that whole era of like innocence and naivety and like wonder um, was just really cool. I really love that Nancy's style is kind of understated. It's not the uh, crazy 80s fashion. Feels a little more real, a little easier to deal with, I think. And it has a really uh, sweet, feminine edge to it, which I like. I know that Nancy makes a bad decision um, that leads to serious, very serious consequences, but she, she really cares very much about Barb and feels awful about what happened. And Nancy spends the entirety of the show trying to find her best friend. Um, and I think there's something really nice about that. Um, and that's something that makes it even more tragic in the end when Nancy has lost her friend. I have to keep hope. I have to keep hope for Barb. Justice for Barb. I have no idea. I've heard things about her relationship to Hopper being somewhat suspicious. And then there's this whole ego thing. I don't know. I, uh, I, I am excited to find out. The soundtrack surprised me because it was amazing. And, um, you know, I'm, I've been jamming to it. I never want the Clash of song out of my head. Should I stay or should I go? I'm a huge fan of Orange is the New Black, but I've been really, really pacing myself with the last season, so I'm not quite done yet, but I've been savoring that one. I think it's a great show. Of course, I absolutely, I have to believe in monsters.